Welcome back everyone, let's play War on the Sea in the US Campaign, episode number two. All we need to do here is just leave this mission. We got our kill, our submarine from the first map. That crazy submarine that actually managed to land some hits on us after having to blow its ballast from taking two-ish depth charges. What a remarkable situation. So now at this point we just probably send some, okay it's too late to send new aircraft out, but at this point we just wait for our ships to to get going. So nighttime is the domain of the Japanese. We'll have to be a bit more careful about that. Now you would think with the surface detection radar that wouldn't be that big of a deal and certainly if we, I don't know what ships have radar directed fire control, if that's implemented in this game or considered, but if that is all working then that'll help us at night. Um, but the, otherwise the night combat is obviously something the Japanese trained in and they took that very seriously. So it'll almost be morning. I mean, it is it is almost morning. I think I will launch some more um, scout planes. So let's go ahead and drop down and conduct a few scout operations. Also, I want to mention the reason why I do some of the things I do. Um, I do little hooks in these patterns like this. Um, this is basically so that the return leg after they use up all their fuel, the return leg is a different path home. It doesn't really matter now, back still gives you pretty good information because ships are moving and your airplane takes a lot of time to go from the out leg to the back leg. So it's kind of useful just to refresh the data on the exact point you already covered, but I think it gives maybe slightly more information if you give that little uh, unique leg home. I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't matter much. <clears throat> but we'll do the same thing over here, I think. Just trying to get any information we can, seeing what's there. And you know what? It would be probably not a wise idea for us to just waste the aircraft on the Enterprise. And I know that we also have aircraft on the... We should do it. Wait, does the Atlanta have aircraft? No. Um, some of our heavy cruisers have float planes, but yeah, well, it does make sense. We don't. We can just launch a couple of Wildcats and that should be good. Yes, yeah, so let's do exactly that. Let's go and cover the area that we aren't sure about. And hey, let's even start looking into the slot. Okay, there we go. I mean, these, um, well, these flow planes keep going over us all the time. <laughs> let's take a, whoops, I didn't realize right click also counts as a left click. Okay, there he goes, returning to base. Any ship spot near what? Oh! Oh! A submarine. Okay, well, we can. This is kind of interesting. One sec. We can take this and try, if we can, to do some damage. Why not? Start. Oh! Oh! Oh my, this is not just a submarine. We got something big here. Okay, this is good. This is really good. I'm going to manually control. Let's also get some altitude. I don't know how flak is, you know, considered in this game. But I'm going to get some altitude as much as possible. We're climbing. Just to try to minimize the damage from flak, and I guess speed would also be a good thing. Okay, so let's also turn towards... I've actually tested this. It doesn't affect your speed to be turning even at the tightest turn. Um, it's no, it's not a big deal. You can turn as tight as you want without any impact to the speed. So we'll be a little bit high up, but I'm, I'm not sure again how flak is considered, but... We'll go a little higher. Oh yeah, we see something here. Okay, let's pause and actually take a look at what we see, because I this looks like this looks like it's a business. Oh my goodness. We have found them. And they have a lot of merchant ships. Is that a lot or just one, two, three? Okay, so there are some merchant ships here. How many they have two cruisers? My spotting reports are gonna be perfect. <laughs> so we got two cruisers, two destroyers. And it looks like six um, 
merchant ships. Well, this is definitely a, a reasonable target for our Avengers stationed in Port Moresby. Should we have the range? And if we don't, this is a great target for our carrier task force. We wanted to kind of probe around the island that we want to you know, settle upon or start establishing a defensive um, base at. However, this might be a bigger priority because this is, I mean, this is juicy. So let's go ahead and send our wildcats away now. I've already received all the, I mean, I guess I could make a run. Okay, let, let's actually make a run at the very last one. Very last one, number 10. So we're going to target number 10. And we will make a run against her. So you can also target number 10. And we'll have them just make an attack once we get to the edge. So hopefully at this distance, well, surprisingly they don't have any dual purpose that are opening up against us. That's fantastic, by the way. I'm not going to complain. We should start decreasing our altitude. Maybe our altitude was prohibiting them from attacking. Yeah. Okay. So what if I hit V now? Do you guys need to spin around in circles a couple of times? Might be good enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. They're both attacking. Fantastic. Let's see what happens. Now, these are wildcats from... Oh, yeah. They are spinning around a couple of times. But these are wildcats from... Um, and by the way, we saw this was supposed to be, I think... A... They're firing at something. At me? Yeah, they are. Nah, uh, you guys are... Okay, just form back up. You're not doing it right at all. You're going to put yourself closer to the enemy ships than you really need to. But that's okay. I mean, if I wanted to do this myself, I should have just done it myself. The thing is, I don't know how to angle down. I mean, okay. Uh, I would say it this way. I don't know how to angle down enough to hit ships. This final dive right there, I don't know how to do that. Okay, now let's get immediately these guys to exit stage left. Though the game is paused, I'm still. Let's get you to just do it yourself. And let's go this way. I don't know if turning also helps. Oh, what are you doing, Wildcat? What? Oh, God. You're gonna turn right back into them? That's just not smart. Let me tell you. I know a thing or two about. I don't. I don't know much, but I can tell you without knowing a thing or two about flag. How to avoid it is you don't stay in it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but wildcats are pretty heavily armored. So they, every time a roll, a hit, is technically scored, <laughs> um, the armor has a percent chance to, to, like, remove that hit from going into effect. So, that's good. Let's retreat from here. 30 seconds. That should be fine. Okay, let's leave. That is interesting. I didn't actually identify these, I guess, but that's fine. Okay, that is unfortunately, and it says 1x submarine, but boy, there's a lot more than one submarine there. So there's actually a lot there. Oh, okay, wow. Well, let's go ahead and set a course uh, that way. What is the range? I really wish I knew the range on my... Avengers. Let's just try it. I don't think that this will be... No, no, no. Sorry. I said torpedoes. Damn it. Didn't want to set torpedoes, but that's fine. Let's see what the range on these is. Oh, endurance. 360. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's definitely out. Okay, so let's just RTB right away. <laughs> I want to RTB and then quickly launch them again with just bombs and see if it's different than 360. I think that'll be interesting to note. So they're over here. Yeah. You RTB... You are. Enterprise ready to launch aircraft. Well, let's wait a little bit. Actually, I'm probably have you. How fast? You guys are pretty fast, so you could get away, I think, in a fight. Just drop torpedoes. Well, we don't even. We wouldn't even drop torpedoes. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Task Force Five has another engagement. Let's get into it. Uh, 
Right, I was gonna see if I should launch planes, but I think it's too far away. So, begin. And again, we want to make sure that we are going way up on speed. Let's have one of these guys break right, one of them well, left, and then one of them break right. Start. Alright, come on, eagle eyes, don't fail me now. Oh, there they are. Okay, so the, that's where the torpedoes are coming from. Let's have the Farragut turn hard right and the Selfridge turn hard left. I think that that's a wise choice. Okay, and we'll turn on all the different things. The one question I have, I wonder, is does having active sonar, sonar on um, restrict your ability to use passive sonar? And the reason I ask that is because these submarines are constantly marching around at 7 knots, which is a very noisy speed level. And I wonder if... Selfridge, what are you doing? Yeah, I wonder if that's, um, you know, going to create problems for them, or if we can more clearly hear them because of that. Interesting. These are... I'm going to turn all the way back around and Selfridge because she's already kind of blown her load and I think we can quickly get over there. So let's just focus on getting the Selfridge over to her position and then let the... What are you doing? I was hitting the right key, the D key for like forever and it wasn't. she wasn't reacting. I had to Q first. <laughs> okay, now we have to time this just about right. And Farragut's almost made her turn, so... I, I want to go over to this with the Selfridge. By the way, what's... Sea State is 4, that's fantastic. Okay. So maybe I'll be able to see her directly, since she might still be at the surface. Um, let's not... Let's actually not use this this time. Okay, Farragut... Uh, okay, let's try... Yeah, I'm, I don't know, I already lost it. I was going to try to keep my eye on the prize, but... It's too late for that already. Okay. And actually, gonna have you slow down a little bit. Selfridge, you're gonna prepare to slow down a lot. Let's see if we can spot the submarine on the surface. I mean, um, just right underneath periscope depth. I assume. Looking for a gray shadow. You may spot it. Unfortunately, that's not gonna help me much. <laughs> Good luck if you did. That's impressive. Um, okay, let's cut speed, and let's see if we hear anything on passives. And the way these things move around, I would be very surprised with C-State 4, which is, you know, typically I think it's around C-State 5. See so save four, we should we should hear something. Selfridge. Okay, I just made this whole speech about how <laughs> you slow down so quickly, and now you're not slowing down quickly? Well, I can I guess I can do it this way. Uh same for you. Let's I, I mean we can have him go into reverse, that'll help. Okay, so there she goes. Um, Farragut, you make yours hard turn to port. Maybe we can spot her this way. We did. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, wow, Farragut's gonna run right into her. I see her now. Right there. So, Selfridge, you are turning... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, way down. Oh, yeah, she's almost right in front of you. Okay, good. And we should detect her. Oh, we got her. Okay, good. So target. And we're going to have the Farragut just sit there. Monitoring the situation while the Selfridge makes her run. So this is the Selfridge's job. Um, by the way, you don't need to move, move backwards anymore. Just go ahead and... Actually, you can drift forward at four knots. It's, um, that's okay. Selfridge. Let's get you onto the scene. Quickly, quickly now. It's nice to see her though. 
Is she going to start fading away because we've detected her? Now, I'm not using actives this time, so the Japanese... I think the CPU is going to cheat a little bit here, but at least they shouldn't be cheating because I'm using actives. They don't know. Now, they, they're not deaf. They have their own hydrophones. But... At least we didn't warn them how close we are. For anybody who's played any of the Silent Hunter games, or probably U-Boat's the same, I can't, uh, can't swallow that slop. It's just not good enough. The quality of the game is... I expect Silent Hunter 3 and nothing less! Joking, of course. Um, yeah. We're all used to that. Ping, 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 ping. I'm gonna try to keep this as quick as possible by using a lot of more speed than I should. She's not dropping so far, so that, I mean, she's up. Oh. Speak of the devil. Just when you're making things interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop down, and we still have her here, which is nice. And she has not. <laughs> Who's pinging? Oh no! You alerted her, you big ding dong. So I think we should have her on passives. The Farragut's just sitting there. That's my expectation, at least. Maybe I can lock screen on Selfridge? Yeah, so the, she's going seven. She, joy, sorry, seven knots. It's just really, really fast. <laughs> and let's get Farragut to navigate this way. Okay, navigate this way. So I don't have to worry about you. Oh, did she dive a lot? No. We're just not quite there. Gotta keep making our turn. She's making her turn. Dive planes are down. Let's make our run. Depth charges. Ah! Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh. Typical problem here. Hard to control these things. I feel like I'm not actually controlling them wrong all the time. I feel like the game is not reading my controls right. I don't know. How can I be this bad at it all the time? Okay, let's slow down. 12 knots looks good. Steady up. And come back left a little bit. Should put us about in line with her. And then we can start dropping some charges in the water. Yeah, this looks good. Speed up a little bit just to get a little bit further. And then... Looking good. Slow down. Now we wait. Speed up a little bit. Get in front of her. You're toast. You are so toast. We're getting a little better at this. Spend a little bit less time. Okay, drop. Might have been a little bit early. We'll waste a few. That's fine. Okay, go ahead and drop again. That one's going to miss for sure. But this next one should... Should not. Might. Yeah, that first one's definitely gonna miss. <laughs> no, missed with that one too. Let's do our usual. We just wanna aim when our stern is over their bow. That one looks like a good one. And one more. Oh wow, you can see them kind of arc in the air. It's kind of cool. OK, 
Okay, that's gonna be... Why didn't you detonate? We have no target. Are you kidding me, Farragut? What's going on? Okay, fine. Go ahead and ping again. <laughs> what the Farragut is up to 10 not... I did not do... Wow. All right, whatever. That's fine. We'll just continuously drop depth charges, though. I'm not. I'm just confused. What happened there? I guess we'll also ping, but... You would think... I don't know. Yeah, with baffles. Can't detect. Oh, that's a good hit. Well, looks like it was a good hit. Yeah, I think I see some dirt appearing on the side. What's our speed? Ten. I'm surprised the Farragut... So, Farragut, why don't you come to a stop? Man, it's... Already at two knots, man. Okay, drop some more depth charges. further in front. Oh, she's doing emergency ballast. It looks like it could have been a hit. One more set. That one's looking good. Go, go, go. No. Um, this one looks like it's going to hit her right on the... It's going to hit her. It went... It's going through the submarine. <laughs> it's literally clanking off the submarine. Oh my gosh, that would be a devastating one. Okay, so we actually need to get our speed up here and turn around hard one way or another. Let's also get the Farragut ready to engage. So, um, hard to one side or the other. Same same kind of plan here. Let's get you to navigate that way. Selfridge, we're also, at, I think, I navigating that way, but that's fine. Um, battle stations, essentially. Let me get uh, HE, manual, fire, very close to us. Didn't work. There might be a minimum range. Okay, she's coming up like right there. Why don't I just fire at her? I'll target. Cannot target. It is not to funny. How do we not detect it? Okay, fire. Did they just hit me? Oh, that's better. They- are they just- are you kidding me? What is this game? What is this game? These submarines are just- this is crazy. They hit me again. Oh my gosh, we're... Ugh. This is frustrating. <laughs> we know she's going down. Okay, ceasefire. Okay, ceasefire. Now, go to this one. I wish there was a button. Is there a button to just swap between ships very quickly? Seven. Cut speed. Rudder midship. And just for, again, I like this role-playing idea of having the... Farragut kind of race over there and help her her sister ship. So we'll do that as well. But I think we're okay. Let me... Uh, instead of doing that, what I'll do is I'll just pause the video. Um, we'll take a look at the Selfridge here. We have an extra damage control party ready to go should anything happen. So I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. So we have some flooding which we'll take care of. So I'll cut back when all this is done and we're ready to end the mission. Okay, just like that, we're, we're good. So, um, nothing really happened, by the way. You just wait, the engineering, auto-engineering did all the work for me, so you didn't miss anything. Just wait. Okay, so two more points, that's good, and another submarine down. Man, they are really throwing them at me. Um, you guys don't have any sub uh, aircraft? Okay, so now what's the next step? I want to see the range, yes, 360. 
three. We're almost within range to strike. That is very interesting. Which means what I need to do is actually send out another wave of aircraft. Um, I will send out four. Set a course like over here. And once you get over there, we'll have to like manually control you to see what else is over there. All the while, what the heck is our, are you going anywhere? You have been idle this whole time. What happened? Why did you drop your orders? And the Triton dropped her orders too. What the heck? It's bugged. Oh my God, it's so bugged. <laughs> she knows she's supposed to go over here, but she doesn't know how to get there anymore. Okay, fine. I'll do it for you. Whatever, just get over there and we'll fix it then. I can't believe these guys, I just, you know, er, it's frustrating. Those are little frustrating things. All right, fine, we'll do this. I think, um, you know what, I'm gonna pause the video for this and I will only come back if something interesting is happening, like we get another submarine. Okay, it was nothing, just uh, an aircraft. So on we go. I think that pause function is gonna be very nice a lot of the time. Okay, this is my worst fear. We did not encounter them. And we have to come back because we're short on fuel. Oh boy. Well, we need to start launching more. We're gonna have to find them. So let's start launching only groups of two. So I may need to have multiple up at the same time. What is your endurance? 337. Okay, this is maximum endurance. Go. Ready to launch craft? Okay, well, let's... Um, let's go ahead and launch more aircraft. Okay, of course. I think the other one was this way, so let's set them up this way. 337. Um, let's try not to do a complete out and back. Maybe like this. Yeah, I do prefer that. Okay, you have 319 left. Yeah, this is a little bit like this as well. Let's do that. Okay. Um, I'm, okay, I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, I might be crazy, but I think I see something over here. So I'm going to take, yeah, I definitely saw something. I'm definitely going to take evasive action. I can actually see her, so we're going right for her after this. Good, they're curving. Let's just head right back towards her then. funny because we got this other airplane coming in too. <laughs> hey, gone. She was really easy to see from that angle. I don't know why. Let's see if she's still easy to see. Yep, there she is. It's like a weird glare. Is that Showing up for you guys, too. Okay, anyway. Oh, we got her down. Sweet. So, self-fridge. You actually do want to go where the Farragut's going, believe it or not. Farragut. She's right there. So, we're going to have you slow down. Let's have you slow down already. Ah, this reminds me of cold waters. <laughs> Now, I don't know if I should use, again, active or not. What are you doing? You know where you want to go. Okay, good. There's another aircraft. Okay, we got her. We got her. Um, let's see. So, let me clear that. Navigate this way. Target. Um, Farragut. Target. And we are not using um, active. So, 
This is interesting. There's a second float plane. Okay, I was like, oh, there's a second submarine, but no, this is the original torpedoes. Yeah, second, that's fine. Okay, so let's go back over to this. Should be able to see the submarine. Did I grab the right one? I did. I lost it. Okay, it's just off to our right. Oh, is she? She's dough, of course, because she knows I found her. She has not. She has. Has she dove or dived? Yeah, I cannot see her. I think I see her right here, actually, but. What I could do is just wait for her to cross my line. You know, come to a stop. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> the brutal way to kill someone, just let them kill themselves. Okay, we actually, yeah, we actually need to start turning. Turning and burning. Our solution is really good. Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. Okay. I don't know what the self-ridge is doing. I guess I'm not bothering with her. Okay, let's go up to 10 knots. And drop our torpedoes. Sorry, depth charges. You know, it's another one of those. So what is this? Is this gonna be our second or third submarine? This, no, must be our second. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Yeah, it's gonna be easier when she is um, shallower, but it looks like she's actually starting to drop down in depth. Okay, this is where Selfridge would be really helpful. So down. Oh, we're doing okay. So let's just we'll just pray that we get a hit. What are you turning? You're not supposed to be turning. Is she turning? Okay, Selfridge is on her way. Good. E and R is so hard to remember for speed up, speed down. Okay, let's go ahead and launch step charges. See what we get. Might as well start pinging her to let, let her know we're here. And I'm gonna get rid of the map just so I can see this. Oh, it's perfect. Look at all that scarring. That was a perfect hit. Fire another. Oh, where's, what's our speed? Eight, okay. It's good. Just like the last one, boys. That was really good. Is she going faster than me? Looks like a miss this time. Let's get a little bit more in front of her. We keep hitting the tail. If I get the nose, we'll probably really have something to write home about. She's probably gonna blow her ballast again, just like they always do. Did I use the Farragut? No, so this is actually nice. I'm trading, I'm trading off between them. How many depth charges do I have? Plenty. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks good. Blow, blow, blow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to cause some problems. Here's another one. Oh, it's perfect. That's three depth charges in the same area. My god. This submarine must be completely, completely wrecked. Once more. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Just don't want her to get away this time. <laughs> I don't want to be hit by another HE shell. <laughs> Damn you. Just die. Just frickin' die. 
we're gonna have to call this video to a close. All we do is sub hunt in this game. It's like Atlantic Fleet playing as the British all over again. Uh, all right, well, that was... Oh, it looks like... Did we scratch the paint? All right. She's obviously blowing her ballast, but I don't think she's going to have a chance to do anything this time. Type B1 is sinking. Hooray, we did it! Okay, so let's go ahead and bring everyone... Oh, yeah, you, you came over in a hurry, didn't you? It's like sharks smelling blood in the water. So let's do this retreat, leave, perfect. So we sink the B1, got another two points, and we shot down one of the two aircraft. A very successful, look at this has been a slow going patrol, but I mean, it's a slow, slow going campaign. I don't know, let me know in the comments actually if you really wanna see these submarine actions over and over again. I'm probably going to default to yes, cause I, I, I mean, I don't know, that's just how I would default things. Um, but it's, it's possible to avoid them. No, oh, I'm, I won't avoid them. I'll play them out still, but let's see. And I think that this is probably a good time to, for us to call this video to a close as we're tempted, I guess, by the, the fate of what happens. <laughs> I think this is the perfect place to call it to a close. So until the next episode, we'll find out whether or not our Wildcats discover that big convoy, which could have been heading to maybe one of the bases already. So this top one is more likely, but I, I thought they were kind of heading more, a little more south. And we'll just have some big questions for the Task Force 7, which decided to sit idle the entire episode. But these things happen. I know I gave an order for them to move to the island last time. I don't know. It's possible that... I mean, I guess I couldn't have done anything because I loaded back into a battle save game. But maybe then I messed with it somehow. Who knows? Regardless, I'll catch you back for the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.